Shocked at us, honey. I know. Am I going in? Through the stick, get you in there. Okay. <laughs> it's just wherever you look, it's cute. It's overload. Welcome to a new episode of Embrace Your Escape. When we started our US travels, we had a rough picture of our road trip in our minds in regards to what it might be like. Does the reality match that expectation? Let's see, shall we? We just got onto the Highway 1 South and it got a little bit curvier. You could say that. And they say, right, before, you, before it starts, uh, you're 40 foot motorhome or motor coach, don't even try. And I can't see why. <laughs> this is a Ted Kirby. But it's fun. <laughs> <Woo -hoo. Whee! laughs> we just switched spots. Now uh, Julia is driving with the trailer. It's the first time that she's uh, pulling the trailer with uh, the setup. And she's doing really well. Yeah, the escape is very willing to follow, so it's uh, it's uh, it's not it's not a very heavy trailer. Ours uh, weighs loaded as it is right now, 4,500 pounds, I think. Uh, 5,000 pounds is the maximum uh, that it's allowed, and uh, we are right very well under, so that's good. So it pulls really well. And then in these kind of scenarios, where the tree is really very very close to the road. That's mainly what you're looking out for, so, but no, she's doing really well. Um, we're at, uh, we're trying to check out Glass Beach. In Fort Bragg. Yeah, so, I've never heard of Glass Beach before, but it seems we left the girls on the truck because it sounds dangerous. <laughs> Class. Seems to be popular. Yeah. I mean, parking lot is busy. Yeah, again no, though. No RV parking, you have to park further up on the street. I have to say, we discover that quite often we cannot just stop somewhere because there's no RV parking. Or sometimes, RV so. parking is even prohibited. So yeah. not only can you not find anything that's on the side of the road or whatever, Oftentimes it's not allowed yeah. to park an RV. So that's that's something that we haven't uh, uh, realized before or weren't aware of. So I guess because we're learning and we're trying to deal with that situation as we go. So we see, we see what comes out of it. Let's check out the beach first and not worry. The squirrel and uh, he said uh, leave me alone so I left him alone. <laughs> so so either we're a little bit dense or we just don't see the glass of glass beach. Well, there's I, some you said. Yeah I, I found two pieces would they, I would rather consider that uh, uh, littering than Glass Beach. <laughs> Maybe there used to be one, people collected it or something. Yeah, or we're in the wrong spot, I don't like know. But everyone's looking. Everybody's kind of like searching for pieces it seems. Yeah, everyone. And with buckets and bags and... Although it's supposed to be illegal to actually pick them. Collect them. That's what I read. I don't know. It's weird to me. But the coastline is awesome. Yeah, the coastline is, is awesome. So I would uh, rename it uh, Wild Coast Beach. Something. <laughs> like, like the whole West Coast? The, like the whole West Coast? Where have you been so far? Oh well, we checked it out. We tried. I like this place. 
Yeah. We just arrived in the town of Mendocino and it's very cute. Like uh, Julia is already dreaming here. We're just walking around along the main, one of the main roads I guess, right at the coastline. Very cute. Chocolate house, honey. I know. Am I going in? I'm gonna walk around first. <laughs> it's what, two o'clock? And we've had a banana. I don't understand. Chocolate is free food. <laughs> yeah, I agree, but we're still at dinner. Fish wash. Fish wash. Pippa la pop. Pippa la pop. Yeah, thanks for the dog water, but they, they are very picky. They pretty. do not drink out of those bowls. Our and dogs are picky that way. They're divas. They, 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 they don't mind puddle water, but they do not drink out of stainless steel bowls. So that's it just must, not okay. It must taste weird to them, I don't know. Yeah, I guess. That's probably the cutest visitor center. It's adorable. Huh? It's adorable. Yeah, it is. And we haven't, we've only seen this. Yeah, one road. I know the whole history now. There's a nice uh, older gentleman in the visitor center. Me all about it. Well, I will quiz you on that. What a view, Mendocino. And there's a hole in the ground. Selfie video. That's the video. That's the video. Mendocino. Pretty cool. Yeah, I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. German coffee time. We got ourselves some really delicious bakery goods in Mendocino. Typical, Mendocino. In typical German fashion. Coffee and a variety of cakes. Thanks bakery, because we we needed hungry. something to eat. We were hungry. We were hungry. Yeah, yeah. Now, that's really good stuff. This is like, um, what is this? Chocolate Danish? Chocolate, almond Danish, a peach Danish, and a carrot cake. We started eating because we couldn't wait. And we have really high uh, um, Standard? standards for bakery goods. And this is good. This is really good. Pretty good. Could be a little bit more flaky, but you know. What do you want more? Two thumbs up. Four thumbs up. No, eat. I don't know how to eat cupcakes. Without getting into all of my But he did right. He's like, uh huh. Oh, yeah. It's chicken. chocolate place. Mm -hmm. We did not get any chocolate in that Mendocino chocolate store. But we might get dessert later when we go for dinner. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> We've been walking around Mendocino for a while now and it's still cute. <laughs> it is. Yes. Everything's cute. It's still cute. Look at little dog houses or pet houses. They're adorable. <laughs> <laughs> they don't fit in our trailer, honey. I'm not saying I want one, I just find them really cute. Like they have their little cave. <laughs> That's cute. Adorable. We just caught dinner at the Mendocino Cafe and it was freaking awesome. Yeah, it was really good. It was delicious. We have to go there. So, and uh, we just walked out to a really beautiful sunset or Cloud coverage. Oh, <laughs> we see the sun still. Yeah. So I'll try to show you guys. Just gotta turn the corner. And then you might see it? That corner. And then you can see it. Let's see. Ooh. Da 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 da. Ooh, nice. You're right. I know. <laughs> it's just wherever you look, it's cute. It's <laughs> overload. <laughs> Cuteness overload, Mendocino. Yeah. And then especially with this kind of uh, cloud reflection. 
I guess we're not the only ones liking that sunset. <laughs> There's a group of people right there. That really is a good one. Yeah. Rivers gonna cry when you're gone. Hey, I was hoping you would stay, but I've always known that you would go. That's a darn good sunset. Two thumbs up. When we climbed up in those trees, 12 years old, to feel the wind, and watch the river run. A couple of days later, we continued our travels further south. It got very curvy at a few spots, as you can see here. But it was loads of fun, mainly because we knew our brakes were all new and in great shape. Going, 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 going. River's gonna cry when you're going, 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 going. If you want to check your brake pads, and your skills driving curves with a trailer, this is the right highway. Yeah, get them checked before you go. Yeah. Don't run on your last millimeter of brake pad. Not on this road. That Mendocino is a highlight probably goes without saying, but we needed to move on and our next stop was Sausalito. Who are you? Look, Lena. That's San Francisco. I think she doesn't care. They don't care. <laughs> they don't care. They're, they're just happy when they're with us, I guess. Huh? And Lena gets impatient. Okay. Means mommy that I have to go. Look at all those houses on the hill. Millions and millions of dollars. Yeah, busy, busy. And money, money. <laughs> Oh, this is pretty cool. They have a bike parking uh, spot, parking lot, pretty much for quite a few bikes. Like uh, that uh, tells you a lot about uh, town, I think, personally. And we would have uh, come here with a bike, but we have the two dogs to think of as well. So, yeah, but okay. that's it's nice to see. We did not idle too long in Sausalito and moved on to Monterey. We checked out the street market, went to the Fisherman's Wharf and so much more. So don't miss our next episode when we show you Monterey out of our perspective. Please like and subscribe to Feed That Hungry Algorithm Monster. See you next time.